good morning. I hope everyone had a uh, fabulous, whoa, watch your step. Hope everyone had a fabulous New Year's and ho uh, Christmas, all that, holidays. I know I did, I had five days off in a row. Now I gotta go back to work. Um, so, before I do that, get a few more things done around here. There's lots to do. Um, you ever have so many projects that you, you just don't know which direction to go in? And I think I've mentioned this before. And uh, my buddy Will, he's he he he's <clears throat> Will from Weekend uh, Weekend Homesteader. He uh, he told me I need to make punch lists, which he's right. I need to make lists of things that need to be done, um, which I I'm, I gotta do. I gotta sit down and make those lists, and then I can just work off the list. But um, right now, priority is just getting this firewood. Um, off the ground and get it dry and, and we're not ready we're not ready at all to burn wood but here we are in winter you know no, luckily we've had a pretty mild winter so I just keep feeding the propane monster <clears throat> excuse me so I'll show you what I'm talking about alright so here's here's my situation this is my landing landing pad landing pad for my firewood because here's what i'm thinking um this is where the outdoor wood burner used to be it's where it'll go when it when i get it a new one so my thought process is right here next to it roughly i want to build a wood shed nice size wood shed um, it's not going to be enough to hold all of our wood, so we're going to utilize this area here to get um, more wood over here. So I'll build some racks for over here and over here, you know, try to make this look nice and tidy. And I, I, I'd like to be able to, too, so that's the driveway and that's our parking area and this is all graveled. And then this will be graveled again. It used to be. Um, but it needs some freshening up. So we'll do all this here. So this whole area here will be gravel It'll be nice to pull up here with the Jeep and the trailer or the tractor or whatever Maybe drop some logs Maybe drop, you know some rounds like I did um, everything you see here is <clears throat> I, I Cut up in the woods part of this was from that video the other day And then I threw it on my trailer and drove it over here. It works great. It's, it's a good program um, You know, this is <clears throat> This is what I was talking about. How wasteful. This, all this here, all this here, except for this little pile here of uh, maple, all this was just wood laying on the ground. I haven't cut down a, um, a single live tree yet. Now, I did take down two dead ash. There's one here and one there. I took those down. So, part of that is those two trees. But this is just cleaning up what's on the forest floor already, you know. Some of it's punky. Um, I'm going to have probably to, probably have to sort some of this out. But, you know, so what? You know, big deal. Get it off the ground. Don't waste it. Don't, like, let's, let's just do a 360 here, okay. You can't see it. There's a good size log. There's a little log way back there that's not on my property but there's another big log back there maybe he'll let me come get it here's a bunch of down trees again that's not on my property but I think I think if I asked him he, he'd say yeah take it right let's look this way over on the pond there's a big tree down there right in front of it, it's another tree there's another tree there back back in that direction I can see three or four trees just laying here's a pile that I started I gotta this is the stuff I got to get out of the water there's a couple logs behind that pile still yet to be to be chopped up and then you can see there's a big tree 
in the woods back here and then more trees that way <clears throat> and there's a big leaner there and it's just you know you know what i'm saying it just go, just go get it right get it off the ground get it drying next year it'll be burning you know and that's without taking any live trees down you know i don't i don't want to take more live trees than i need to i want to get this dead dead standing out and <clears throat> excuse me sorry i'm gonna get this dead standing out and then uh you know the 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 stuff that's laying on the ground that's my priority the stuff that's on the ground because it's rotting right the longer you leave it there the worse it's going to get and there's so in this front woods up here you know there's there's a couple days worth of work just sitting up on the ground and then a couple you can see i don't know if you can see that leaner that leaner right there that's dead it broke off at the base and it's hung up in the other tree i need to get that and then the tree next to it is dead standing and then there's a couple other ones that are i'm probably gonna leave those because they, they kind of scare me so i'll uh i'll leave those for now <laughs> maybe the wind will knock them down um but yeah i mean there's there's several days worth of work i see another leaner just and we this is just the front part of my property here guys this is one one third of the way back i think i think that's right the, the house sits one third of the way back there's two thirds of this behind us all woods so let's check the propane situation i don't ever like doing this oh look is that poison ivy ah! Oh, this guy put a... No, wrong side. Uh, 55%, 50. A couple more weeks. Uh... Alright, so I think before I gotta go to work here, I'm gonna work on a little bit of this. I do, I gotta make a quick... Uh, I'm gonna come grab some of these. I gotta make a quick wood rack under my deck. Maybe I'll videotape a little bit of that. Alright, so I'm running out of memory on my phone here, but that's that's okay. Nothing big here, just a, a real simple wood rack. I got the idea off of print, uh, print, print, Pinterest. Um, it's basically uh, 16 by 64, something like that. Um, this is just when I, this is just for a real dry wood that's ready to go. Um, it goes under, I'm going to put it under this deck because there's a roof over this deck and this, no rain comes down. Now, I have some drainage issues on the ground. Um, I'm going to address that later. I'll get some gravel. But I just wanted a place to put 
some dry firewood that's ready to go um, to get it out of the weather. That way, as I find the dry enough, anything less than 20%, I'm going to start saving. Now, this isn't a lot of room, but that's okay. It'll, it'll give me at least a week's worth of wood that's going to be able to dry out more than if it was sitting over there under a tarp. And then the other thing is, is everything, everything I burn here has got to go up the stairs because, uh, you know, the living... Living quarters is on the second floor, basically. This is a raised foundation, so. All right. All I'm going to do for now is clean up my mess. i got to get ready to go to work here. I'll probably throw a couple logs on the on the new rack there and uh, just get things organized. And biggest thing is I need to get my trailer empty so I can use it to, to move more wood around the property. But you guys get the idea. Uh Coming up, I got some big orders coming up for leather work. Um, normally, I don't videotape that stuff. Um, but if you guys want to see it, kind of how I process a large order. I won't do a step-by-step -step how to. I just don't have the time. I need to get the stuff done and get it shipped. They're, you know, they're always, always in a hurry. <laughs> so I want to get it done and get it shipped out as soon as possible. But I could turn the camera on and kind of give you guys an idea of how how I process a large order with multiple pieces. This this particular order has got about 84 pieces total. So 84 individual leather pieces. Um, some of it's repeat, some of it's um, not quite, you know, the same thing. So I think there's like 30 of one knife sheath and 30 of another and then 11 and then three of this and eight of that. It's, it's, it's a little bit chaos, but you guys will get the idea. But before I start on that, I gotta knock out a dozen um, tool rolls for some auger bits so I'll probably run down to Weaver tomorrow get my supplies for that and then I'll start in on that project and get it knocked out before I start on this larger order so I'll just turn the camera on and kind of show you guys how I process all that and work my way through that and then once I get done with it that stuff I can get back to doing stuff on the property here which is what I'd really rather be doing but um, gotta pay the bills right <laughs> it's all about the bills all right anyways uh thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video